Hey, this is Coach Miller here with B2B Lax, and I want to talk about dodging a long pole. It's definitely different than dodging a short stick because A, the defender has a lot more stick to work with. He can get in your body better, and he can dislodge the ball easier with that longer stick. So there's some strategies that we want to go over to dodge a long pole. And I talked to a lot of Guys that I know that have scored a ton of goals in the past by dodging long poles, and they gave me some good information that I wanted to share with you because, to be quite honest, I wasn't exactly sure the best way to go about doing it, so I had to do some research to give you guys the best answer on how to do this. So, the best thing to do, the fastest guys, which I'll talk about when we get out on the field here and we go over it, is to attack the top foot. But that's not always easy to do because you need to have a lot more speed than that guy who's defending you. So the next option is to attack the top hand. And then if you can get your shot off while he's in your top hand, then you can always know that you can get your shot off. We're gonna go over here, we're gonna step out on the field in just a minute where we're gonna work on the re-dodge. So when you dodge, the defender does a good job, you kinda pull it back out and then you re-attack and oftentimes that has a lot of success when you're dodging a long pole. This can be from a double re-dodge where you dodge a guy, the defender, he does a good job, then you attack him again, or it can actually be a re-dodge off a pass that you can get from one of your teammates. And the next thing that I'm really gonna stress here is you want to attack when the pole is crossing his hands. So I'll show you that specifically when we get out on the field though, but when that pole comes across his body with that stick, that is a great opportunity where you're gonna have a little window to get a shot off and to execute a successful dodge. So let's get on the field right now and work on dodging a long pole. All right, Coach Miller here with B2B Lax. We're out here on the field, and we're gonna go over dodging a long pole from up top, and then we're gonna morph into the wing. So right now we got the long pole holding, he's a lefty. So we're gonna identify a few scenarios here. We like to ideally dodge the top foot, but sometimes that's not easy. So we need to either dodge the top hand or sometimes we even like to dodge the butt end depending on where they're at. But right now, I want us to identify how this lefty defender kind of has his hands positioned. So right now, if I take him down this way and he starts having to run with me, his stick is kind of here and his hands are across his body. So that kind of makes, puts me in an advantage at a certain point because he's a lefty and I'm trying to come down as a righty. So I, maybe I can turn that side and he's gonna bring it across his body and I have some sort of an advantage there, all right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if my defender is a righty or a lefty and then try to cross his hands up. No matter what, say you're a righty now. So now, he's a righty. If I can attack his top foot, great. That means I have great foot speed. Then I wanna try to get there, get a step over his top foot and go. If not, we'd take it, take it back a step and try to attack his top hand, get into his top hand. And if I can still get a shot, then good. We'll go over a drill that shows that. But right now, as him, when he's holding the stick in his right hand, keep it in your right hand, and I get him down the alley, he's stick on stick, so it's kind of to his advantage. He can throw these easy checks as I'm going, so it makes it a little bit tough. So we're gonna walk through a progression here. You go back to holding in your left hand, which he normally is. We're gonna dodge him, get him down the alley. He plays good defense, so then we're gonna take a step back to the wing, is gonna kind of simulate the re-dodge. And from this point, I want to dodge his top hand. Again, we're gonna work on dodging his top hand first and get into the cage. So it's gonna kind of look like dodge from up top, he plays good defense down the wing, pull it out, dodge his top hand. All right, and then we're gonna progress, dodge, he plays good defense, pull it out, we're to the wing now. And now I want to cross. So now he's kind of having to cross his hands and then if I can, then I can roll to get a shot there. So what we're looking to do is get his hands crossed up so then we can roll and get that hand. So we'll run through a few. Yep, so you can go down. 
Dodge down, now pull it out. Now dodge his top hand. Yep, dodge his top hand. So that's the first one, great. Do that one more time. Good filming. He's dodging, he's playing good defense, pull it out. Dodge his back, top hand again. Boom. And then hold it right there, get it back there where you're dodging his top hand. You get right to about that hash. He has a stick in his right hand, he's dodged his top hand. If a mini can get a shot off in this situation, then he can get a shot off anytime. Because here, he's not buying, but if he can still get powerful enough to get this shot off, then it becomes hard to defend. So that's what he's looking for there when he's dodging his pop hand. It's like getting into him and still being able to get a shot off. All right? So now we're going to go through the next scenario where you're going to dodge. He plays good defense, pull out to the wing, and then try to cross his hands and then roll back. As soon as you see his hands cross, and you can roll back. Boom, pulls it out. Now he's looking across his hands. Boom, he cross. And there he was able to get through it. There he was able to get through the cross. But now we'll do one last set where he gets, he plays good defense and then you roll back. Pulls it out. Now he's looking to cross his things. He crossed and now he rolls, yep. And during that, when he rolls there, so let's go over that real quick. So that was a great situation. So you are, he was here, so stay just like this. Ian, come over here. He got to here, notice that he was crossed, and then Ian can turn, and then he's gonna have at this moment, this moment right here, while he's there, he can turn, because he's gonna bring his stick over, and this is where he'll have a split second, or a second to get a shot off. So just kind of doing like, just do that in like 50%, just this, the wing part right here. Just the wing part. You dodge this thing and he crosses. Boom, he crosses and he rolls. Yep, right there. Just like that. So now, we're gonna work on the left side of the field now. So here, ideally, if we have all the speed in the world, we'll attack his top foot, blow by him, just let me go by you, blow by him, score. If not, not everybody's that fast where they can do that, so then we're gonna work to either get into his top hand and then get that shot off, which we worked on, or get, his, to get him to cross his hands. So in this case, we're gonna, we see it, boom, we come down the alley. So now he's crossed here, because he's a lefty defenseman, okay? So now he's crossed. If I have this, great. If not, I might be able to turn, and why I to bring the stick across, I might be able to get something off. Pretend you're a righty defender now. Now he's a righty defender, all right? Ideally, I'd try to attack that top foot, so play me, like, you'd be playing me like that, so his top foot would be there. I would try to do this, then he'd have to bring his hands over. That would be the ideal scenario. If not, he's still playing me righty. He gets me down. I'm coming. Now he has his hands crossed. He's got his hands crossed because he's playing me like this. So I might be able to boom, get a step there, or keep on going. All right, so now I want to give you some examples of dodging a long pull in a high-level high school game. These clips are from the recent Gonzaga-Culver game played this past Sunday. So here we're going to look at dodging a long pull off a pass. He gets the assistance of a pick here, but the concepts still hold true. So Culver does a good job of moving the ball around. They have a lot of off-ball movement. You can see the screen there by three. He catches it. Let's play that back. So the three is coming down. Setting that pick. Giving 28 a little bit of a window there. He catches it. Kind of gets a little hitch where he can drive across, get to that middle of the field. And there he's still being able to get his shot off with a stick on his hand. So that's key there. Just shoots wide, but there gives an example of a shoot off of a shot off of a dodge off a of pass. All right, so here we have another example. Gonzaga has the ball. We have an attackman going against a aggressive defenseman. So here. I'll let you, I'll play it out. 
He's getting a bunch of pressure. That's an example of getting a shot off with the defender on your hands. So here, zoom it in a little bit. Play it in slow motion. Sticks on his hands. Still can get the shot off, just missed. Just almost hit that top corner. But there's an example of being able to have that strength to get that shot off while a guy's on your on your hands. All right? So you're not always going to get a full step past your defenseman, especially when you're going against high-level defensemen. All right, another clip here. So we have a good ride by Gonzaga. I'll play it out. Gonzaga's riding it. Lodges the ball. Gonzaga gets the ball back. Twenty-five gets it again. So here he's attacking right away. He's being guarded by a long pole. Comes in, dodges out, re-dodges. That's kind of that re-dodge that I was telling you about. So he's got the dodge. The defender's playing well. He looks like he's gonna pull it out. Assesses the situation. Sees the defender let up for just a second, re-dodges, gets another shot off. Play it for you one more time. So right there, the defender kind of lets up for just a second. There's this path for a shot. All right, so there are some tips for dodging a long pole, getting more goals. Thank you, fellas. Bono, good work on the film. So there you have it. There are some examples of how to dodge a long pole. We went over a few different scenarios there. Ideally, you're going to attack the top foot. Get by him. Great. You have awesome speed. Can do that. If you can't do that, then you're going to have to get used to getting your shot off by attacking that top hand. You're going to work on the re-dodge. And you're also going to look for trying to get that defender to cross his hands to give you that open window to get your shot off. All right, if you like this type of stuff, go ahead, subscribe to this channel so you can get updated on more videos I have coming out. And also, if you want to take your training to the next level, just click on the link right in the description of this video. It will take you to my most comprehensive program. You can start training right away. It's got some professionals in there. It's going to show you step-by-step -step how to become a better lacrosse player. All right, with that being said, Coach Miller, talk soon.